We now invite Mr. P. Subramaniam to deliver Dr. M. Sarvanan's speech to this assembly today. Thank you, the Master of Ceremony. Good morning. The Minister Councillor of the Royal Thai Embassy, Ms. Nipa Niranud, Beacon House Group Chairperson, Mrs. Nasreen M. Kasuri, Beacon House Group Chief Executive, Mr. Kasim M. Kasuri. I mean, I'm surprised that uh, Bollywood never spotted him. He looks so handsome. <laughs> he should try his role in acting. <laughs> the Beacon House Malaysian Regional Director, Mr. Jahan Seb Shah, who have done a great job today being the host for this event. You have done a wonderful job. Well done. Distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very honored to be invited to speak to you here today at a, such a prestigious event on behalf of Yambram Hat, Dato Saravanan, the Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to our distinguished guests from Pakistan, Oman, Thailand, Philippines, in joining us today at the Beacon House International School Convention 2017. I'm happy and proud to say that in Malaysia, it's a kind of an event organized by international schools in Malaysia. I think Beacon House has made the lead. Well done. First time ever. I never heard before where international schools have organized an international games event. Well done. We appreciate your dedication for the event and will follow, but I do hope you will also take time to enjoy fascinating Malaysia with its tropical setting, cultural cuisine. Children's Bleels Nation and Future Leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, how do we measure the progress of a nation? There are many factors that we need to account for. But the most important thing is for us to look at the state of our children. As a nation, we progress efficiently with our children, are equipped with excellent education, and it's not only the teacher's duty to ensure that children are getting the best education, but it's the responsibility of everyone in this hall. These young minds are filled with tremendous and towering ambitions that one day will shape our nation. They are the building pillars on which the whole society sustains. Education is the key in order to build progressive and sustainable society. Hence, education to all is imperative. Ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about the education and our children, we do not limit ourselves to only academic excellence. We are referring to an all-rounded education such as one that Beacon House provides. I believe Beacon House has done a tremendous job with their effort in reinforcing sports and youth, and it helps to increase participation of a young society and encourage community camaraderie. Apart from having the ability to improve overall fitness, Sports plays a vital role in terms of social de development. 
It has the power to bring together people of any ethnicity, any religious, or any political belief. In Hanhart's national unity, just like when we, our very own Lee Chong Wei and Pandelela Renong won the medals in the 2012 Olympics Games, but we are all united as one nation to support our athletes. Sports are often taught in the school for every reason, as it is a very good way for children to learn to work together in teams and they start to understand the important roles that people play in everyday society. As the late Nelson Mandela said, sports has the power to change the world, the power to inspire, the power to unite people in the way the little else does not. And as a representative of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and as a sports advocate myself, I'm here to see how the ministry can work this with the school, such as Beacon House, to encourage children not just to watch sports, but to also actively participate as we work together, reaching our goal of becoming healthier and active nation. I applaud Beacon Group for this initiative in bringing together students from around the region, not only to compete in sports, but in building friendships to learn from each other and practice great sportsmanship, which will help them develop into great global citizens. Once again, I'm very honored to have been invited here today to officially launch the Beacon House International School Convention for 2017 on behalf of Dato M. Saravanan of the Ministry of Sports. I would like to take this opportunity to wish each every one of you as star athletes good luck in the games today. And also, before I finish, uh, as I was mentioning that I am the CEO of the Ken Barnes Football Club, and also represents Dato Saravanan. Uh, he asked us to convey the message that uh, the, uh, the government and the Ministry of Sports are willing to work very closely with Beacon House in the future for any form of sports development and youth training. Yeah, we can provide that. And also, another good news, I mean, it's not only for Malaysia, but the other countries that are participating here, Oman, Philippines, Thailand, uh, do I miss out? Uh, Pakistan, yes. <laughs> okay. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm from a football background, and I run this Ken Barnes Football Malaysia, and we have links with the EPL clubs, such as Manchester United and Liverpool. Chelsea, you just name it. We have the connection. And if Beacon School International can identify young talents who's below 16 years old have some good footballing talent, I'm willing to look at it to be sent to Manchester United or Liverpool to be trained there. Okay, with this, I end my speech. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. P. Subramaniam, close associate and special representative of Dato M. Saravanan, Deputy Minister, Youth and Sports, Malaysia. Very encouraging words.